Today we're going to be running EVE Online in Linux and do a couple benchmarks to see how it runs. I'm using an RX 580 with an Intel i5-7600K under Ubuntu 20.04. This should be an out-of-the-box experience. The only thing I've added is Mango HUD. That allows me to display the FPS in an overlay as well as capture frame time. What we will be looking for specifically is the lowest 5% of frames. And if the average is 60 FPS, then AMD considers that to be optimal. The game is installed on a 2 terabyte NTFS Western Digital Drive. There may be differences when installing to an X4, like SSD. However, this is what I run on Windows, so I wanted to keep most of it the same. Plus, my Linux partition is only 25 gigs. But as you can see here, we're sitting at the menu and we're getting 11 FPS. I did have trouble playing the intro video. It would freeze up about halfway, so I had to skip the intro video. As you can see. Connecting. Now I don't know if this will increase if you just sit here. Game is usually, is actually pretty slow for the first couple minutes. I'm not sure why. I'm using the default graphic settings. However, after a few minutes, then the frame rate just jumps up to like over 100. So I've not played in two years. I used to FC incursions. I set incursions with the Valhalla project. For April 2018. Managed to accumulate about 59,000 plex. Still here. The only issue is it's not gone up in value in two years. Still the same. As you can see, we're sitting here at about 5 to 15 FPS with not really doing anything. So I, I would consider this to be horrific. However, this will improve in a couple minutes. Now, as I said, I don't understand why this happens. I know other people have commented that this happens. I don't think it has anything to do with compiling shaders because technically I think compiling shaders should have already been done. Plus, I'm looking at, what is it, IO top on another screen. And the only thing being written to disk is this video using OBS and QuickSync. There's nothing being read for the disk. We're just going to sit here, and as you can see, the frame rate is changing a bit. The bar is now going up and down. It's slowly improving. What we're looking for is it to get over 100. I did turn off X4 journaling, so there's no writing to the drive uh, when there's nothing being done. I'm 
try to keep it as uh, optimal performance as possible. There we go. See, now we've gone over 100. We're at 135, 141. So as you can see, you just have to sit here. I don't know why it lags in the very beginning, but as you can see now, the FPS has significantly improved. So let's go ahead and take a measurement here. Empire, Emperor Family Academy. As you can see, it still drops down to 7 and 8 FPS before bumping back up. 230 FPS. While the GPU does peak at about 100 FPS, 100%, uh, CPU remains under 62%. There was a dip below 54. Oh, yeah, so here right there, 14, yeah, 26. These are huge stutters. 34. The game is, yeah, the game is very much lagging. It's taking me a minute to... Not, not a minute specifically, it's maybe a bit of an exaggeration. But you can see... It's stuttering. Linux gaming has certainly come a long way in the last couple of years. Now, some people, they may be okay with this if they're like gate camping. I've not seen any effect on turning down the graphic settings. I like how they changed the gates. Gate design is totally different now. So the frame drop in warp is not such a big deal. Go ahead and check our 5% average. Okay, so what we do here is sort. And we take the 45 measurements, which is 5%. Then we average it. As you can see, that's 7 FPS. Now, AMD considers this number to be 60 for the game to be considered optimal performance. And as you can see, 7 is a lot farther from 60. So let's try another measurement, just in case. Go fly in a asteroid belt here. Yes, you can see quite a bit of stuttering there. The stutters while in work are not very significant because there's nothing going on in that but the client does slow down like if you're in the mail or if you're right clicking there's definitely uh the client is lagging check out the sun i remember years ago i used to plex by having eight miners, a chair on, and an orca just constantly. Well, back when plexes were like 200 million for a month. Game still looks very pretty and empty. See if you open up the map. See, there you go, drop to two. Go see a moon. Measurement is done anyway. Yeah, you can see that. It's just stutter, stutter crazy. We 
yeah. So again, it's 6.92, so it's even less than before. So as you can see, the performance is very subpar in Linux, unfortunately. Um, I look forward to seeing EVE and other games increase their performance in Linux. I basically use Linux now as a daily driver. Um, the fact that it doesn't need an antivirus really increases the performance like huge, especially on my laptop and, and older hardware. Hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below and fly safe.